Hi, uh, I'm Joshua Vail, the Living Collection Specialist here at the Mabel Museum. We miss all of our visitors here while we're closed to the public, but uh, we still have to be here. There's a lot of important work for us to do, and uh, my job is to take care of all the animals that we have here. So, I just, you know, they still got to eat every day, so I thought I would show you guys around and kind of feed a couple animals for y'all. So I'm going to go around here in just a second and I'll dump some crickets in and you guys can see them uh, chase them down. Now what's neat about anole is that they can actually change their color. So that's why we have um, some log right here. So that way they can sort of change their colors and feel safe no matter where they are in the exhibit. They can change it from green to brown. Um, there's one good little guy that's kind of hiding out right there. Um, they, do, they may look like chameleons with their eyes. Some people call them Texas chameleons. Uh, but their eyes are actually like ours where they move in sync with each other. Um, even though they may look a little buggy. And uh, let's see, there's one back there. He's, he's got it. Oh, there we go. They're on the hunt. Now their vision um, is mostly based off of movement. Um, they don't have very super clear vision. They mostly see light sort of changing and they can see shapes. Um, and there we go. Tilt his head, boom. And they'll kind of take it away to a place where they feel a little safe. Um, they may sometimes pick at each other a little bit while they're eating, uh, but mostly once they all get settled, they'll probably eat uh, each about four or five crickets, and then they'll climb up high, feel nice and safe, and digest that over a few hours. <laughs> 